Hey friends, my name is Catherine and I am back at you with part two of making paper beads. Yesterday I showed you how to make these cute little paper beads that uh, wind around skewers and end up being really small and adorable. And um, I made them out of chiogami paper, um, which is this small, like small from side to side, like uh, how big is it? Um, like six, just less than six inches wide um, and very, very lightweight. Like I would say even lighter weight than like printer paper is. So I showed you how to make these beads from this paper and they turn out small and adorable. But I wanted to give you a contrast in what using a different paper would look like. So I grabbed some heavy scrapbooking paper. This was a 12 by 12 sheet. This is all that's left that I haven't cut up. Um, but I did my zigzag like I showed you guys how to make yesterday. And this is a much heavier paper, as you can probably tell. It's a lot sturdier and it's also about twice as long. So I'm going to show you what making um, beads with a heavier paper and longer strips is going to do for your beads. These are cut at the same width as the smaller ones, so they're cut at the half inch mark just like the smaller ones are. You can see that I'm comparing it to a bead right there, same width. Um, but they're heavier and longer. So a heavier and longer paper. I'm going to do the exact same process. Uh, take it, match it up with your ske skewer, 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 and start rolling it around. There we go. And then tighten it down really good because you want it to be even and straight. And then put a bit of glue on there. and start rolling. And just as with the other one, you just roll and screw it, squish the glue through it, and try and keep it straight. But it should end up with a little bit more rolling, because it's a longer piece of paper, and we should get as an end result a heavier bead. A, it's not wider, but it is heavier. Um, thicker. There we go. A thicker bead. So we just keep on rolling. And you can probably already tell this bead's going to end up thicker than the other ones. And we're not even done rolling yet. So keep going. Keep on rolling. More glue. There we go, and continue rolling, and it'll make a, this will make a rounder bead. Aha, that's what I was trying to describe before. It's going to make a rounder bead, but there we have it one bead made out of the heavier paper as compared to the bead made out of the lighter, shorter paper. You can see the difference in size there. There's a significant difference between the thickness of this bead and the thickness of this bead. That's what I'm doing today. I'm probably going to string these all together and then alternate them because I actually kind of like that. And I would be happy to know what you guys are doing today. If you have any ideas, let me know because 
as you can see, this was a this was a request, so I do take requests. And I will see you guys later. Bye.